let's say that A is equal to 6M minus 4N minus 7P. And let's also say that B is equal to 7M minus 3N plus 5P. What I want to do in this video is figure out what is A plus B equal to. And I want to express that in terms of M's, N's, and P's. And I want to use as few terms as possible. So why don't you pause this video and see if you can work through that on your own before we work through it together. All right, now let's work through this together. So first, we have A, and I'm just going to rewrite it over here. So we have 6M minus 4N minus 7P. And then to that, we are going to add B right over here, which is 7M minus 3N plus 5P. So what we can do is add the terms that are using the same variables. So for example, I could add the 6M to this 7M. If I have 6Ms and then I add another 7Ms, well, I'm going to have 13Ms here. So that's 13M. And then next, I could think about adding, you might want to say 4N and 3N. But since we're subtracting 4 and we're subtracting, or we're subtracting 4n, we're subtracting 3n here, you could view it as negative 4n plus negative 3n. Or you could say we're starting at negative 4n and then we're subtracting three more n's. Well, negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. So you're now going to have negative 7n's, or you could say we're subtracting 7n. And then last but not least, we have. We could say negative 7p, and then we are going to add 5p to that. So if you start at negative 7p and then add 5p, you're going to get to negative 2p. Another way you could think about it, you have 5p, and we're subtracting 7p from that. You're now going to have negative 2p. And we're done. This is You can't combine any of these, because this is in terms of m, this is in terms of n, and this is in terms of 2p. Let's do another example here. So, and this one, let's do some subtraction. Let's imagine that we have the expression, or we do have the expression, 4x minus z minus 8x minus 4y plus 3z. See if you can do this subtraction. We're subtracting this expression from this expression over here. Pause this video and see if you can do that. All right, now let's work through this together. So the way that I like to do this is essentially distribute this negative sign. You could view this as negative 1 times all of this. And now, to get remove the parentheses, I can just multiply negative 1 times each of those terms. So let's do that. So this first part over here, that is just 4x minus z. And now, let's add, so plus, and I'm going to distribute this negative 1 onto each of these terms. So we have negative 1 times 8x, all right, negative 8x. And then we have negative 1 times negative 4y. Well, that's going to be positive 4y. And then we have negative 1 times positive 3z. That would be negative 3z. And now we can add terms that are dealing with the same variable. So we can look at this 4x, and then we have a negative 8x. So what's 4x plus negative 8x? Well, that's going to be negative 4x. And then we could go to, actually, let me go to y next, just my brain wants to go from x to y to z. I could have done z first. But there's no y over here, and we just have a 4y over here. So I'll just rewrite that, plus 4y. And then last but not least, we have a negative z here, or we're subtracting z. And now we're subtracting three more z's right over here. So in total, we're going to subtract. We're subtracting a z and then subtracting three more z's. We're going to subtract four z's. So minus 4z. And we are done.